Hey guys, my name is Anne Eddins, and I'm going to be showing you how to do some clay sculptures. So I have been doing clay sculptures and sculpting Play-Doh and all that stuff just for fun. And I do it in the um, Tennessee Valley Fair and I do it at school, or I used to do it at school. Um, so today I'm going to be making 12 Days of Christmas. Um, which you don't have to do that. You can just go on Pinterest, look at what you want to do, your own little idea, and you can just have fun with it. So first I'm going to teach you some skills um, that you're going to need to know to carry on your ideas. So I'm going to teach you now a few skills that you're going to need to know to carry out your clay sculptures. So first, when you're wanting to put two pieces of clay together, Let's get two pieces. If they're jagged, rough, whatever you wanna say, if they're smooth, whatever. To add them together, you're going to want some water and I've got some here in a little bowl. You're going to get a tool that you have. It does not matter what kind of tool. I've got some sharp tools um, that are good for cutting and making indentions and all that stuff. So you wanna dip the end of the blade or whatever it is into the water and kind of just make some marks on it. You want to make sure that these marks on your clay piece are not soaking wet, but they, they're a little damp. You want to do the same exact thing on the other piece that you want to add to it. Okay, so now you're going to put them together where the lines exist on the clay and then it should stay together. And this is so that when you're firing it, um, when you're hardening the clay in the kiln, it doesn't break apart. Because if you just get two pieces and just go stick them together, there's a possibility that it would break break apart when they're drying or firing. <laughs> Putting the grooves in, make sure that they're actually connected. So now that you know how to glue things together, it'll be a lot easier. So I'm assuming that most people when they were younger played with Play-Doh and it's just like Play-Doh. So right now I'm going to make five golden rings as in the song 12 Days of Christmas. So to start out, Obviously, you want to get your clay. So I have a, like a reddish clay. So you want to get some off. You want to make sure it's kind of easier to move it around. Um, and it's not too hard because you want to make sure that it is easy to play with or it will crack and it'll break and it'll crumble up and you don't want to do that. So as you can see, I have five little pieces of clay for my five rings. So now I'm gonna take my first little ball of clay. I'm just gonna roll it out. You can do this on a flat surface or you can do it just in your hands. I prefer a flat surface um, so then the rolled out clay is more smooth. So once you've got it rolled out as much as you want, um, the thickness, it doesn't really matter. Um, again, you don't have to be making five golden rings. Um, you can be making anything you want. Um, for example, I have a flower um, that you just, I made this in sixth grade, um, three years ago. Um, so really doesn't matter what you make. And different things um, take different skills, um, depending on if you're making a pot or you're making a flower, or you're making a Christmas tree, whatever you're making, it will obviously take different skills. So now I'm done rolling my piece of clay out. I cut the ends off of the rolled clay so that it's easier for me to stick the sides together. So now I'm going to stick the two sides together into a ring, and so again, to stick things together or two pieces of clay. You want to get the tip of your blade or whatever you're using to just make little creases in it 
in the end, just like that. I'll do it on both sides. And then, just gonna bend it around. Into a little ring. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little water on my fingers and smooth it out as much as I can. And here is my final <clears throat> and here is my final ring. Now I'm gonna go and make five more. Four more. Now I've almost got all of them together. Once you try to get them all together and slicing them up and putting the dots or dabs of water on them. It gets a little harder, so you wanna to try to get just a little bit of water on your finger and kind of spread it around um, all of the rings on top to try to get them to solidify together. And now I've got my five golden rings. So that was my tutorial on how to make five golden rings. Now with these small skills, you can make many other things. I hope you liked my video and keep on molding.